but you know, that's not true. So something something that strikes me is that this is this is a, a theme that all the listeners will will notice that I always bring up every every now and then I bring it up, which is this f- overarching feeling that I have that sometimes it feels that the cool research in programming languages has already been done in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s. And we're kind of like kind of scrapping the pieces here for applications these days. And the papers nowadays is like a huge pile of extremely technical details that is like sometimes feels that we're not touching you know, like this mathematical beauty and essence that it used to have back then. Do you have the same feeling but you know, that's not true. Turns out there's lots of interesting stuff to do in physics today. So yeah, all the people in the 30s and the 60s got a lot of low-hanging fruit, but that just opens up what there is next. And you know, there's been a lot of incredibly important groundbreaking work done in our field. What's left for me to do? But I think actually that you know there will be somebody in computing. There will be people in computing who are remembered as well as Newton. And I think, I think the really important and famous discoveries haven't been made yet. I think you guys are the ones who are going to make them. These days, it just feels all like playing with a bunch of ticker toys rather than like doing mathematics. Well, that's wrong. Who's going to figure out how to turn it back into mathematics again? 